Shabbat Shalom, and welcome everybody to our second video Shabbat. We're so glad you're here. I'm Rabbi Greg Cantor from KKBE, and on behalf of Rabbi Stephanie Alexander, our senior rabbi, and Robin Schuler, our music director, who both of whom you'll also be hearing from throughout our Shabbat video, and on behalf of our Board of Trustees, we welcome you and thank you for joining us this way on this Shabbat in these unusual times. I hope your uh, time is going well, that you're finding ways to fill it, that you're finding ways to connect. I heard this week from an old college friend from many years ago, who lives in Amsterdam now and reached out to me. And so that was really great to reconnect. So we can use this time however we choose. And I hope you're choosing to connect and reconnect with the people you love. Um, that's, it's a good time to do it whenever we're um, in this kind of situation and whenever it's Shabbat, it's good to connect with special people in your lives. I want to continue now with a prayer from Mishkan Tefillah. That's our KKBE uh, prayer book and the Reform Movement's prayer book. And this is on page 126 and it's from Ruth Brin, and I think it's especially appropriate for these times. Well, it applies to Shabbat almost any time, maybe even more so now. Ruth Brin writes, I begin with a prayer of gratitude for all that is holy in my life. God needs no words, no English or Hebrew no semantics and no services, but I need them. Through prayer, I can sense my inner strength, my inner purpose, my inner joy, my capacity to love. As I reach upward in prayer, I sense these qualities in my Creator. To love God is to love each other, to work to make our lives better, to love God is to love the world God created and to work to perfect it. To love God is to love dreams of peace and joy that illumine all of us and to bring that vision to life. Shabbat Shalom. Let us light these lights by Debbie Friedman. Oh, hear my prayer, I sing to you. Be gracious to the ones I love, and bless them with mercy and goodness and peace. Oh, hear my prayer to you. Let us light these lights and see our way to you. And let us say Amen. Let us light these lights and see our way to you. And let us say Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech, ha'olam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, 
וציוונו להדליק נר, להדליק נר של שבת. And now we bless our wine, our symbol of joy, which we can still experience even in our quarantine state. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Barei peri ha'gafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotam, V'ratzavanu, V'shabat kotsho, Be'ahava uvratzon hinchilanu, Zikaron lemasei v'reishit, Ki hu yom t'chila l'mikra e'kodesh, Zecher l'tziyat mitzrayim. Ki vanu v'charta v'yotanu kidashta, And finally, we bless the bread. Hamotzi lechem min haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Thanks, God. Our voices rise in song together. As our joyful prayer is said, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Amen. It's time for Shabbat. We need Shabbat now more than ever. Not necessarily for rest, because for some of us, we're being forced to do that in our homes, not going to work, staying home. For some of us, we need the spiritual rest. It's been a tough week, reading the news, hearing about friends and family being separated from each other, but we cannot be separated from Shabbat. It's a special place in time and space, and we welcome her like the bride coming down the aisle. The Slachado D by Alana Arian.
passage of time flowing so differently right now with a Thursday or a Monday meaning far less perhaps than a sunrise and a sunset and our ability to tune into nature for some of us in ways that we don't usually have the chance to to listen to those birds to see the sun move across the sky to watch the stars at night all of the created world takes on profound meaning in the words of our liturgy Bless Adonai, who spins day into dusk. With wisdom, watch the dawn gates open. With understanding, let time and seasons come and go. With awe, perceive the stars in lawful orbit. Morning dawns, evening darkens, darkness and light yielding one to the other, yet each distinguished and unique. Marvel at life, strive to know its ways, seek wisdom and truth, the gateways to life's mysteries. Wondrous indeed is each day of creation. Baruch Ata Adonai Hama'ariv Aravim. Mindfulness, oneness, wholeness connectedness. Is there any wonder why the Shema has been the watchword of our people in every generation? I am here, I am now, asking when, asking More than Israel has kept Shabbat, Shabbat has kept Israel. Now more than ever. The Shamru, the Nay Israel, et Shabbat, la Asot, et Shabbat, the Doro Tambourine. 
Torozam. Ben you, Ben, Bene Israel, O T la Olam, O T la Olam. There are so many congregants and family members and loved ones we keep in our hearts and our prayers this Shabbat. First, we want to give a shout out to the Gould family. Jason was to celebrate Bar Mitzvah this Shabbat. We look forward to doing so in the fall, though of course we all regret that we'll have to wait to do so. But Jason, in the meantime, we want you to know you are a Bar Mitzvah in our book, Mazel Tov. And to Sally and Ellis Regenbogen, who were to celebrate their 50th anniversary with the congregation this Shabbat as well. Mazel tov to you. We know this is not the way you would want to celebrate, but we hope you can feel our joy enveloping you nonetheless. And for all of our loved ones who are in need of healing this Shabbat, and we know there are so many, we join together in a prayer for those we know and are thinking of this Shabbat and those for whom we may not know, but just putting our healing prayers out into the universe and knowing that as so many do so all around the globe, that that force, that power of prayer really can make a difference.
This week we start a new book of the Torah, the third book, Leviticus, or Vayikra, which admittedly is not the most popular book of the Torah, dealing as it does overwhelmingly with the subject of sacrifices. But the important thing to remember is that it was never actually about animal or grain or vegetable sacrifices. It was always about drawing close to God. The root of the Hebrew word for sacrifice is korban, karov, close, to draw close. And you have to imagine the ancient theology of the Israelites, how they visualized God being hierarchically, physically above them, up in the heavens above, and the Israelites themselves down on the earth below. And if you took something, if you took a basket of fruit, or you took an animal, or you took some grain, and you burned it on the altar, what would happen? The physical substance there would be consumed by fire, shrinking until it was only ashes, while smoke transcended up above. You'd have the visual of something actually being transferred physically from down here to up here. And they felt like in doing so, they were drawing closer heaven and earth and they believed it was pleasing to God. To draw close, to physically do something that pulls someone or something closer to you. But it was never about the sacrifice. Why? Because when the ancient temple was destroyed, the first one and then the second one, and the sacrificial cult was no longer available to us, we replaced it. We replaced it with prayer. We replaced it with study. We replaced it with sadaka, with giving righteously to those in need. And the rabbis taught us these were ways we could draw close to God. We could pull heaven closer to earth. And we prayed each time we made a physical sacrifice of substance or these other acts, sacrificial acts, we prayed that our offerings were acceptable to God. Right now, we're making another substitution. We've always believed that our gathering together in community was a beautiful sight to ourselves and to God, and that's true. But right now, we have to offer something different. We have to offer distance. We have to offer space. But our doing so is motivated by nothing less than love and actually the desire to draw closer to those from whom we're distancing ourselves. It's a strange calculus right now, but we know in our hearts and we know in our guts that what we're doing is pleasing and acceptable and desired by God. So may this offering of space, physical space, may this offering of time, however long it takes, May these offerings, as were our ancient offerings, be acceptable to the Holy One, and may we feel ourselves drawing closer through distance, not only to God, but to one another. Amen. Yehu liratzon imre fi imre fi vehegyon libi Lefanecha Yehe you le ratzon In refi, in refi Behe yomli bi Lefanecha Adonai Tzuri Adonai Tzuri Adonai We're near the end of our service now, where our hearts and souls turn to memory. 
We remember these members and friends of the KKBE family who died in recent days. Betty Wilford, Janice Shadoff, Stephen Schwartz, Rose Goldberg, Ian Wolfson, Edith Rystock, Rachel Raisin, Maury Schiffman, Hyman Gleaton Jr., and Isaac Ribka. And we add to their names the names of those whose yard site, the anniversary of whose passing, we commemorate on this Shabbat. David Edward Alterman, Dora Altman, Grace Arezzi, Leon Banoff Jr., Florence Barron, May Berger, Isaac Israel Bregman, Max Fiedler, Samuel M. Frankel, Max Gutman, Lila Hirschman, Elizabeth Salisbury Jackson, Lester Auer Jaffe, Stanley Kozitsky, Milton Kronsberg, Shira Levkoff, Fanny Mansky, Doris Myers, Sally B. Nachman, Thomas Nelson, Brent Price, Nina Rheingold, Bessie Lehman Rosen, Sam Rosen, Sadie Rosen, Yetta Rosen, Edmund Shostak, Aaron Sisman, Irv Smilowitz, Claire Sonkin, Pearl Spiesman, Tony Talent, Helen Aronson Wax, Samuel Yanko. And of course, we invite you to add the names of your loved ones who may have died recently or whose yard site you commemorate on this Shabbat. And we continue with Kaddish. I'm following in Mishkan Tefillah on page 598. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah b'alma divrach yirite v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chaye dechol beit Yisrael Bagala uvizman kari vimru amen. Yehe shme raba mevarach le alam al me al maya. Yit barach vi ishtabach vi it paar vi it roman vi it nase. Vi it adar vi it alevi it halal shme de kudisha berichu. La ela minko birchata vishirata. Tushbechata venechamata. Damiran bi alman vimru amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom bimromav, hu yaase shalom. Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Zichronam livracha, may their memories be for blessing, and together let us say, Amen. O se shalom bim romav, hu ya a se shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imeru, amen. Shabbat shalom. Hine ma tovu manahim, shevet achim gam yacha. Hine ma tovu manahim, shevet achim gam yachad. Hine ma tov, shevet achim gam yachad. Shevet Ahim Gam Yahad. He name Gam Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Hine Matovu Manayim, 
Shevetachim Gam Yachad Hine Matobu Manayim Shevetachim Gam Yachad Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.